Hey friends, there are so many of you that I know from last year and some of you who I can't wait to meet later this year. My name is Joan and I work at a place called Bonnyvale Environmental Education Center. Lots of people just call it BEAK, that's fine. And what I get to do at BEAK is study about nature. So I spend a lot of time noticing changes that are happening in nature, how animals are behaving and what's happening with the different plants. And what I have been noticing around my house lately is how the plants are changing and I've been noticing lots of the small animals scurrying about and being really active. I am wondering if you're noticing some of the same things at your house. Some leaves are changing colors. Flowers have faded and have been replaced with fruits, like berries and apples. And then there are nuts, like acorns, that are falling from the trees. Some animals, like squirrels, chipmunks, and mice, are scurrying about, collecting and caching the fallen nuts and seeds that they're gathering from the ground. What is so interesting to me is how the plants and the animals around my house are helping each other right now. We all know that animals need food and water in order to survive. And in the winter, finding enough food can be really hard. So what some animals do is in the fall, they go around and collect food and they hide it for the winter. It's called caching their food. Squirrels are a great example of this. They love to collect and hide acorns for later. Let's watch a squirrel and see what it looks like when a squirrel is caching acorns for the winter. Do you notice how the squirrel buries one nut at a time? Gray squirrels are called scatter hoarders because they bury each nut separately rather than burying a whole pile of them together. Acorns, these are a favorite food of squirrels. So oak trees help squirrels to survive by producing a food which is the nut that the squirrel likes to eat. And it's a nutritious food for the squirrel. Oak trees produce many, many acorns and gray squirrels bury many, many nuts in the fall to find them later during the winter. How do you think they find them? I'll give you a clue. They have an excellent sense of smell and they have a really good memory. But do you think they find them all? What happens to acorns that get buried but are not later found and eaten? This is how squirrels help oak trees to survive. Some of the acorns that the squirrels don't find germinate and grow into new oak trees. So, oak trees help squirrels to survive by providing food for them. And squirrels help oak trees to survive by dispersing some of their nuts into places that are further away from the parent tree where that acorn can then germinate and grow into a new tree. So I'm wondering if you're noticing any squirrel activity or acorns being stashed around where you are or maybe you're noticing how some other seeds are getting dispersed. What other kinds of animals are helping other kinds of seeds get dispersed while they're also providing food and nourishment for that animal? Anyways, lots to think about. Good luck out there, friends. I'll see you later. Bye.
enjoyed this video, please visit our website to learn more about what we do and consider making a donation.